I don't know just where I'm going. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try for the kingdom if I can Cause it makes me feel like I'm a man When I put a spike into my vein Then things aren't quite the same When I'm rushing on my run And I feel like Jesus, son And I guess I just don't know and I guess that I just don't know I have made very big decision I'm going to try to nullify my life cause when the blood begins to flow when it shoots up the dropper's neck when I'm closing in on death you can't help me not you guys all you girls with all your sweet pretty talk You can all go take a walk And I guess I just don't know I guess that I just don't know wish that I was born a thousand years ago I wish that I wish that I'd sail the darkened seas on a great Ship. Going from this land here to that I put on a sailor suit and a cap Away from the big city Where a man cannot be free all the evils in this town and himself and those around and I guess that I just don't know I guess that I just don't know death of me heroin heroin it's my wife and it's my life because of me not to my vein to a Santa in my head And then I'm better off than dead Because when the smack begins to flow I 
really don't care anymore about all you gin gyms in this town and everybody putting everybody else down and all the dead bodies piled up in mounds and all the politicians making crazy sounds Heroin is in my blood, and that blood is in my head. Oh, baby, thank God that good is dead. Thank God I'm not aware, and thank God I just don't care. And I guess that I just don't know, and I guess that I just don't know. Can you remember when you first met Lou Reed, what sort of impression he made on you and what, what it was about him that, that attracted you? He seemed extremely vulnerable and um, with, with a very visceral sense of, of uh, claiming his identity in that it seemed like his identity was really clear when attacking things. And not that there was a, uh, an ingrained hostility to everything on earth, but um, I guess that's a common trait in many people that the best way to define themselves is to really attack. And um, This uh, un unknowing and, and uh, psychologically disturbing persona was struggling to have an artistic, um, an artistic expression that was being stifled by, um, by this confusion between his surroundings and himself. And, um, This description could very well apply to myself as well. And I couldn't really say that trying to find a role in classical music that really had anything to do with the outside world was, was, was certainly not clear in my mind. And I was using improvisation as a way of finding a foot, footing in, in my own personality. So words were, was, were not something that I was really adept with, although I, I, I loved all sorts of, of English language experimentation. And Lou was very adept at spontaneously erupting into um, elegant uh, forms of, of, uh, of prose and poetry. We end up yeah, with this, uh, together. <laughs> very 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 <laughs> It's kind of fun, because everybody's like, I want my own dressing room. Want my own yeah, dressing then, room. Then when everybody gets their own dressing room, and then everybody goes into this one little dressing room. It's actually fun. Pop was it's never our, our goal. Uh, usually Maureen is the smallest. And we had uh, a firm hand in our rejection in the marketplace. Maybe uh, by accident we are often uh, in a sort of art camp or in a place where uh, serious music might be. Jimi Hendrix once uh, expressed disbelief to us that, that we weren't bigger than we were. Uh, and said, well, how, how can we? You know, we're not in the radio. You have an unfair advantage. <laughs> they play your records.